फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट अप्लाइंग द रेशो ऑफ द अफोर्सेड डिसीजन्स एंड एज अगेन रिएट्रेटेड इन द जजमेंट ऑफ ब्रिजेंद्रा बहादुर सिंह सुपरा वी आर क्लियरली ऑफ द ओपिनियन दैट ऑन द फैक्ट्स ऑफ द प्रजेंट केस द डिस्ट्रिक्ट मैजिस्ट्रेट हैड क्लीयरली रिसीव्ड द नोटिस ऑफ द इंटेंशन टू मूव नो कॉन्फिडेंस मोशन साइंड बाय द रेक्विजिट नंबर ऑफ मेंबर्स ऑन ट्वेंटी सेवन्थ मार्च टू थाउजेंड सेवनटीन फॉर विच प्रिपरेशंस वर मेड इन अकॉर्डेंस विद द प्रोसीजर प्रेस्क्राइब वी हैव ऑल्सो एग्जामिंड द कंटेंट्स ऑफ द नोटिस साइंड एंड डिलीवर्ड बाय द मेंबर्स which also recites the intention to move the no confidence motion thus the notice is complete and composite in nature and also bears the signatures of the members as per the requirement of law the date of delivery of the notice can be clearly gathered as 27th march 2017 from the letter of the district magistrate dated 28th march 2017 extracted herein above the absence of the date on the notice signed by the members therefore does not in any way establish a doubt about the date of the notice as urged by the learned counsel for the petitioners to the contrary there is clinching material on record to indicate that the notices duly signed by the members containing the recital of the intention to move the motion had been delivered to the district magistrate on 27th march 2017 where after he also inquired into the allegations of the petitioner on 28th march 2017 itself and then dispatched the notices on 30th march 2017 the district magistrate has also looked into the objections raised by the petitioner on 28th march 2017 the objections were clearly with regard to the notice of the intention of no confidence motion that had been received by the district magistrate on 27th march 2017 extracted herein above as disclosed in the letter dated 28th march 2017 dispatched to the learned district judge the contention on behalf of the petitioner that on one hand the notice which was delivered contained single signatures whereas the same notice is stated to contain two signatures of the members who have allegedly signed it in this regard the contention of the learned additional chief standing counsel is clearly to the effect that when the members had appeared before the authority they were made to counter sign once again to ensure that they had in fact moved the motion the existence of double signatures therefore does not in any way improve the case of the petitioner the increase of two of the signatures at serial numbers 34 and 35 also does not in any way vitiate the process in as much as if two more members had moved to put their signatures on the said notice and were in existence when 
the district magistrate satisfied himself about the correctness of the same then no doubt can be expressed about their intention more so when none of the members who have signed the notice have come forward before this court to contest the moving of the motion or holding of the meeting on 15th april 2017 and the decision as relied on by the petitioner in the case of kamala devi supra therefore would not at all be attracted as per the decisions on the issue of form and contents of the notice the judgments referred to herein above therefore support the stand taken by the respondents as well as the intervener that there is a substantial compliance of the dispatch of notice as also the contents of the intention of no confidence motion to be brought about for consideration in the meeting to be held on 15th april 2017 the dispatch of the notices for holding the meeting had to be made through the assistant district election officer who can be authorized by the district magistrate as there is no such bar under the 1962 rules stop